Hey, what's going on guys? It's Dolby here, and earlier today we got the trailer for Infinite Warfare DLC 1. Now, I watched this trailer a few hours ago, and all I gotta say is that every single thing in this DLC, from the multiplayer to the zombies, every single thing in this DLC looks absolutely incredible. We got some pretty interesting things in this trailer. Uh, we saw Afghan from Modern Warfare 2 being remade. They're gonna remake Afghan from Modern Warfare 2. Uh, it's going to be basically the same thing, but in space, that's one of the multiplayer maps that we're going to be getting in this DLC. And we're also going to be getting a brand new zombie map called Rave in the Redwood. That, it looks amazing. Uh, it's it's in the forest. It's sort of a dark, eerie, scary map. looks absolutely incredible. Um, that was all shown in the trailer that they released earlier today. So if you guys haven't seen this trailer, I'm about to show you it right now. So without further ado, here is the Infinite Warfare DLC 1 trailer. We are so excited for fans to get their hands on the first DLC of the season. We've been listening to your feedback and we have so much more to come. We've got four intense maps and a brand new zombie experience. One of the great things about DLC is it gives us the first opportunity to address what the players are looking for and what things can be improved upon in the Infinite Warfare experience. We get a lot of feedback across social media, forums, everywhere. It's been really cool to see everything from beta up till now, the requests. So you're going to see drastic changes and things you love brought into these new maps. Noir is a dark, grimy, moody Brooklyn from the distant future. On one side, you spawn under the Brooklyn Bridge, which is kind of gritty. And then the exact opposite side of the map, it's a little bit nicer. There's cafes and parks. And then in the middle, it's just a war zone. Neon is a virtual training simulator for urban warfare. It's a Z-shaped map with a long sight line down the middle, a high B point up on a ledge, and a close quarters area in a nightclub in the third lane. When you run around, cars will generate players. When they die, they will dissolve into a mess of polygons. It's a very interesting and fun play space to be in. One of the maps in DLC 1 that we are pretty excited about is called Renaissance. It takes place in Venice. It's a very tight quarters, very fast gameplay. If you like the snipe, you're going to love the church lane. If you like to run and gun with your shotgun or your SMG, you're going to love skating through the interiors and engaging players. And if you're a mobile mid-ranger, you're going to love taking your assault rifle onto the streets. Another map we have is called Dominion, and it's a Modern Warfare 2 remake of the classic map Afghan. This time it takes place on Mars. Afghan is such a revered map, not just amongst the fans, but also among everybody at Infinity Ward. It has a lot of different identifiable landmarks that everybody can remember, the crash ship, the AA guns on the hill. And we knew it was kind of an easy transition over to Infinite Warfare's Theater of War. And players can now boost jump up to the lookout and counter snipers with close range engagements. The Raven the Redwoods is a trip back to the 1990s to a place that is such a stark contrast from what we did in Zombies in Spaceland. I think players are in for a real surprise. We made them really comfortable in Spaceland by opening up lanes, making it bright and colorful. This is really a horror film brought to life in a video game form. It's going to blow people's minds. After getting sucked out of, of Zombies in Spaceland, uh, our four characters appear in a cabin they wake up kind of groggy. They kind of realize that they're maybe in the 90s now. As you explore outside of the cabin, you find out that you're actually in an abandoned camp that's been kind of taken over by a few hundred raver kids that are throwing a, an all-night rave party uh, in the middle of the woods. The level has this dark, foreboding, kind of spooky vibe, and then the world comes alive. There's new weaponry, there's new Fate and Fortune cards coming, new traps within the map. Our cast of characters are getting a whole new wardrobe change. We're gonna introduce a new character named the Slasher. There's so much more to tell. We can't wait for people to get a chance to experience what it's like to be in Raven the Redwoods. People are in for a real treat. All of the devs here at Infinity Ward cannot wait for our fans to get their hands on the new content. The weapons, the quests, there's so much going into it. Fans are going to be super excited. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare DLC 1 pack will be available January 31st, first on PS4. Get the season pass and receive $20 of bonus content. So that's the trailer, ladies and gentlemen. And all I got to say, after watching that trailer again, it just makes me more excited for this DLC and for Rave in the Redwoods, the new zombie map that we will be getting on January 31st. 
Now, after listening to what Lee Ross says in this trailer about the map Raven the Redwoods, he says some pretty interesting stuff. He says that they're going to be introducing a brand new character to the map called the Slasher. Now, at this point, we have no information about the Slasher. We don't know if he is a good guy. We don't know if he's on our side. We don't know if he's a boss zombie. We don't know what he is. We just know that there will be a new character in the map called the Slasher. Now, he could be maybe a part of the Easter egg. He could maybe be the Easter egg boss fight. We don't know. Or it can be, you know, uh, sort of like the Brute, you know, uh, one of the, the the big zombies that come, you know, once every like five or six rounds. We don't know what the Slasher is, but that is going to be a new character in Rave in the Redwoods. So that is pretty interesting. Now, Lee Ross also said that there's going to be more weapons added to Rave in the Redwoods. Now, in the trailer, I saw a golf club. Um, that was in Zombies in Spaceland, so that is new. So, we most likely will be getting a golf club in Raven the Wed Redwoods, and we might also get a lot more new guns uh, coming to this brand new map that we will get on January 31st. So, you know, there's just so much information in this trailer that we got for this new map, and I am just super excited for it. I cannot wait for Raven the Redwoods and all the other multiplayer maps to come out on January 31st. The thing that I like the most about this brand new zombie map, Raven the Redwoods, is the fact that it looks scary. You know, we see, you know, it's in the middle of the woods, a rundown abandoned cabin late at night. It looks eerie. It looks like a scary map. Now, I've been wanting to have an actual map that felt scary for a long time, and we haven't got that for a long time. Uh, Treyarch tried to make one with Zetsubo, and we all know how Zetsubo turned out. So, you know, we haven't really had a scary map um, in a long time in Zombies. And this map, just by watching the trailer, this map looks really scary. Um, basically, what it is, is it was a rave. There's a big rave, and I guess it's like a rave gone wrong sort of thing. Um, so, it does look like a scary map. It, it looks like there's a lot of cool little things, you know, in this map that we can find. And hopefully the Easter egg, you know, will be good in Rave in the Redwoods as well. I find it weird that, you know, Infinity Ward uh, would make a map like this, though, because if you look at Zombies in Spaceland, it was kind of the complete opposite. You know, they're in this this 1980s theme park, you know, colorful, everything was colorful. And now, all of a sudden, they just changed to, you know, I think it's the 1990s now, but it went from a super colorful, you know, map that we saw in Zombies in, Zombies in Spaceland to a dark, eerie map here in Raven the Redwoods. Um... But, like I said before, you know, I want to see a scary map, so I'm really happy that Raven the Redwoods is a thing, and I'm really happy that they're making it, you know, as eerie as they can. Overall, the whole entire Sabotage DLC that we'll be getting on January 31st looks amazing. From the multiplayer to the zombies, every single multiplayer map that I saw, um, you know, in that trailer looks decent. Now, I don't play a lot of Infinite Warfare multiplayer, but... Some of the maps like Renaissance and the Afghan Remake, they look pretty cool. The Afghan Remake is based on Mars. It's Afghan, but instead of, you know, in the desert or whatever, you're in Mars. Um, so that's pretty cool. You know, the multiplayer maps look pretty cool, and obviously Raven the Redwood looks sick. So let's just hope that Raven the Redwood uh, is going to be a good map and not a flop. I doubt it will be. Um, let's just hope that it's good, and let's hope the replayability in this map will be there. So that's it for the video guys. If you guys enjoyed this video and are hyped for DLC 1 for Infinite Warfare, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. I am Dilby and I'm out. Peace.